We are here to talk about disruption and leadership in healthcare. So, well, my company is the Doctor Whisperer, so I work with all different kinds of physicians and people in the medical industry that are already disrupting the medical industry. So we're going to talk about um, what that looks like. We're going to talk about technology. We're going to talk about um, the restrictions that we have in managed care today with insurance companies, with time that we spend with patients, waiting rooms, all that fun stuff. Well, we're going to encourage instead of cope, I think, because we really need to encourage more physicians and more people in the healthcare industry to jump out of that box because if Jeff Bezos and all those billionaires are going to get involved and get involved in healthcare, then there's going to be some serious disruption going on soon. We hope that they leave with information about, you know, you have to take risks. I think that's a really important thing, especially for anybody that's doing an entrepreneurial track or even in healthcare today. You can't be like everybody else. You have to step outside the box and do what's best for the people that you're treating, the patients, the customers, and the clients. A sense of empathy among the world in England. Um, I've been um, I'm, an, I'm, I'm a doctor, and we've started a, um, a practice where we help uh, patients uh, navigate their chronic disease. I'm hoping to share with the students that medicine is not uh, monolithic, that we can do medicine in many different ways, that uh, there are ideas that are young, there are young doctors, young entrepreneurs that are making a big difference in the traditional form of medicine. We are trying to go outside the box um, and try to take care of patients in a slightly different way with technology, with the new um, techniques and tools that we have at our disposal. I want the students uh, to know that they can make a difference. They can see something as um, changeable by them. We have entrepreneurs, as uh, Sharon said, who are trying to change uh, or disrupt the medical field. And I want the, the students to know that it is, it is not done. The innovation is just beginning. And it will be them that actually changes the way we practice medicine. So when they come to work, you know, their first intention is, is I want to be a healer. I want to help people. Where did you lose that intention? Now you're so caught up in the protocol. We are here to talk about leadership, getting involved in the community, how to create change from the lowest level to the largest level, from individual to global. I am a best-selling author. I'm a presenter. I travel around the world fighting against violence against women and empowerment, which also has to do with health and well-being. One thing I'd like them to walk away with is to trust their intuition and their instincts because starting a business and being an entrepreneur is not just about being all, all the time being practical and linear. It's about listening. What is your gift? What is your medicine, as they say in the indigenous way? Like, what, what do you have to offer? And trust that. Stop looking at the outside for the approval or following everything in such a way in a business format. You know, a true visionary is looking at the bigger picture. They're above looking down instead of below looking up. To the panel, um, as far as insurance goes, um, it's the way life in the U.S. I'm a dentist here in Florida. I have a practice in Feather Sound, um, which I started about three and a half years ago. I think that um, a lot of a lot of things that I've kind of been through, um, you know, in starting my own business and especially with it being in healthcare, um, I've run into quite a few challenges. And I think that. Um, the fact that I'm still standing here today and being able to beat the punches, I, I think that I hope to give the students some hope. Um, I think as an entrepreneur it can be very challenging. Um, everyone expects you to fail, nobody thinks that you can ever make it and, and the reality is you got to fight through that and you got to be able to, to, to back up and believe in what you, you know, there's a reason you did this and you have to be able to believe in it. And I hope they learn more than one thing but um, if, if there's one thing I think, I think it's um, perseverance, um, perseverance um, Tenacity, I think that's something that if you know if you're if you're an entrepreneur, I think you have to have both qualities. Um, it gets tough sometimes, but you know I think if you you look back and on the why you're doing things, I think it makes it it makes it worthwhile. Take out the wrong two. Take out the wrong two. Really upset. <laughs> I had a, a really a really a good time with the um, uh, entrepreneurs. First of all, one of the things that I learned that uh, everything that you do, you have to put your heart. Heart is important. No matter what you do, what business, what you're going to, the heart is key. I mean, it's not about the money. Money is a result. Money is the thing that you're going to get after you put your heart. So remember, heart will be the first thing that you put in your business. And then the money will be, you know, the, the revenue, what you're going to have, uh, you know, at the end.